All right, let's talk trailer floors. This is, you know, primarily a conversation based around choosing the right floor for what you're gonna do, you know, with your trailer. There's tons of back and forth, you know, all kinds of opinions. And you know, we offer several different types of trailer floor. And um, just wanted to do, a, you know, shorter video, just kind of talking about them. So the number one most popular floor for trailers is a pine floor. Pine is a softer wood. Um, you know, it's what's used in most uh, residential or housing projects, you know, construction, it's used quite a lot. Your two by four, normal two by four is pine in most case. It's been used in the trailer industry for a long time. Different grades of pine. We always have, have been, you know, one to use either number two grade or better. Some manufacturers use number three grade um you know just not not real real picky we're we're you know our our lumber mills that we've worked with have always told us that we are definitely one of the most picky that they've dealt with you know we're looking for knots edge weighing we want a nice square edge on top you know lumber is definitely a natural product so you know sometimes you can't tell just by looking at a board what it's going to do but again, the, the pine floor, you know, number two grade, we use pressure treated. That's another thing. A lot of folks, they've come around, but for many years, they just wanted to use cheap as they could get by with just regular old, you know, number three uh, non-treated wood. And so, you know, we've never really saw much sense in it because the treated stuff lasts so much longer. It's not that much more money. So, you know, yes, we have used it, you know, disclaimer, we've used non-treated wood years and years ago. Uh, but as, the, as time evolved, you know, the way um, the investment people are making in these trailers, it just there was began to be no place, you know, for non-treated wood. So pressure treated pine is, is a good option. It, it's the most like generally, I guess, uh, appropriate wood for a trailer. When you go past pine, you know, it starts getting in, okay, what kind of, what kind of work are you doing? You know, are you just doing general hauling? Are you, you know, do you need to haul something with tracks on it? You know, that's where hopefully you're doing some research, you're talking to the dealer to see, you know, what, what flooring option is best for me and the type of work I'm gonna do. On this one, you know, kind of a, a, a subset of the pine, there's another, another floor screw, is the Blackwood product. Blackwood product is cool. It's been out for, I don't know, probably eight years or so, maybe more, maybe less, but it is essentially a, pine product a two by eight pine product where they've planed out the center section and then glued down a quarter inch thick piece of rubber so it's it's just like pine still has the uh you know the same properties it is a board but the cool thing is it's really meant for traction not something i would recommend for anything other than rubber tires or rubber tracks you know if you've got something with steel on it not good for uh, blackwood it ends up tearing the rubber up so blackwood's a cool product it's standard on the 12 foot hydraulic dove we do that for traction um, but you can also order it as blackwood outer where it runs the full length on the outers or you get the whole floor in blackwood you know for traction so that is an option on them the next flooring option that we would look at is what we call a rough cut oak floor so rough cut oak is what it sounds like is oak you can see on this floor all the kind of the differentiation and character and color and stuff this is a solid oak floor if it, you know anything about oak it's way denser than pine if they don't pressure treat it so you know to keep it looking good and to keep it lasting a long time as from a um, from like uv protection and stuff it's good to take oak and pick your favorite kind of sealer and put a good sealer over the top of it. It'll, it'll help it to stay prettier longer. Disclaimer, oak does not age as well as pine does. It gets kind of ugly, but it is crazy stout, crazy strong, because again, it's, it's much denser. If you're running something with steel tracks, oak is the way to go. Like definitely oak, I, I mean, I would, I'm a proponent because it just, it can take such a, uh, more brutal beating over time and is not gonna uh, start wearing down and breaking down like pine does. So oak is a really good option for somebody who's working their trailer super hard, um, you know, 
whether it's even even some hot shotters. The thing about oak, though, I should say, is it is quite a bit heavier than pine. You could expect on this 38-foot trailer, you're going to add, you know, uh, probably five, six hundred pounds, pretty easy, in wood, just weight of the difference in the wood because it is so much denser. Backing up, talking about the blackwood. The blackwood is almost identical to normal pine weight, so it's not real heavy. Uh, not not any uh, weight adder to normal pine, but oak heavier lasts longer. It's kind of like one of those things you just you weigh your your difference to to uh, decide what you know works best for you. Let's see. So another one is diamond plate floor like this car hauler. This is an eighth inch diamond plate option on this trailer. We do eighth inch diamond plate on anything up to like 98, 90 options or under 10,000 pound GVWs. We feel like the eighth inch is good. Eighth inch diamond plate is roughly the same as uh, two inch pine. So as far as weight goes, not a huge weight adder. You know, the pro is it's metal. It's gonna be there. Uh, it's gonna last a long time. Downside is you damage it, not as forgiving as wood. Can't replace it like you can wood. And it is covered with coating all over it. But in most cases, like this trailer, somebody's using it to haul a uh, sports car or a race car, something like that, not, not as likely to tear it up as if you were working one. So really something to keep in mind. The next one we'll look at is 3 16 diamond plate. The 3 16 diamond plate is where we, you know, over 10,000 GVWR. So when you go 14.9 all the way up to 40K, if you want diamond plate with diamond C, we go 3 16. So it'd be a good take a good look on this f max it's much thicker 3 16 there's a lot of manufacturers out there that do run eighth inch diamond plate even on this trailer which is a cardinal sin like you don't want to run thin diamond plate eighth inch diamond plate on a heavy trailer it ends up getting warped between the cross members makes for a bad customer experience are there some that could get away with it probably but we don't take a chance we don't want to take a chance we'd rather go with the better stuff just to make sure that the customer experience is, is definitely above par. So you got 3 16 diamond plate over the eighth inch diamond plate on all of your heavier equipment style trailers. So those are, those are the most common flooring options. Those are the ones that we have available on the website. So when you are clicking around, you know, building the trailer that fits you on the build your own feature on our website, Make sure to pay a lot of attention to flooring. What am I, ask yourself, you know, what am I doing with the trailer uh, day in, day out? Is it a weekend trailer? Am I hard on it? Do I need to have, you know, forgiving wood or do I need to have something that can take a beating? Or is slick metal, you know, the name of the game for me? So that's uh, my two cents for flooring options. So make sure to like this video, subscribe to you know, our YouTube channel to view all of our latest videos, and then follow us on all the major social channels for more videos like this. We'll see you on the road.